Okay, guys, so we are here today to discuss about um, some of the matches we are playing tomorrow okay. concerning the Premier League. Yeah. Um, Mass now will be playing the early kickoff with um, Everton. We have um, Newcastle playing late in the afternoon around 5 30. Manchester United is also somewhere in there. So, guys, um, let's see. Um, Arsenal has already signed a new midfielder from Chelsea who is going to help them be via squad. And then I also learned Thomas, um, Thomas Pate is currently not fit to play the match. So, guys, what do you see? It has been an early kickoff, Arsenal leading the leg. What, what, do you, what do you think will be the outcome? Okay, so to me, in my, my corner, I think you see this thing with early kickoff stuff. Um, I think. Um, well, Arsenal has a good chance to win, though, because of their recent performance since throughout the matches and all that. So, to me, I think it's a win for Arsenal. Yeah, it's a win for Arsenal. Okay. And do you, do, you, do you think... Okay, let me come to Nif first before I come back. Yeah, I wanted sure. to talk about their new signing um, in Georgine Ho. We'll talk about how he'll be able to fit into the team at this time around and all that. But then, Nif, well, what do you see about the match um, against Arsenal? And oh, for me, personally, I think um, it's very clear I would for Arsenal to win. They did top form. I mean, um, the their manager just won the manager of the match. Yeah. Of January. Yeah. So Charlie, spirits are high. Actually, my, my player also won the player of the month. So no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just by the way. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you see, um, they've already signed Jorginho, mm -hmm. which is quite um a shocking. Um, I won't yeah. say it was a surprise to some of us because yeah. we didn't see it coming. Yeah. Uh, we didn't actually see Jorginho. Maybe Chelsea are rebuilding and bringing in new players. We thought maybe. They would give him a chance to at least finish the season, but then they decided to let him go and all that. You see, Georgino, uh, for, for the signing of Georgino, do you see that a hit or a miss for us now? I was shocked when I said it. I was like, really? I mean, Chelsea asthma. And then play one from Chelsea to Asthma. Yeah, I actually noticed, I saw um, some pictures circulating around. I know I noticed um, Ateta is already has been a fan of Georgino for a very long time. Too. So um, I, I think um, it's a hit for us now because. They actually want to win the leg. That's their focus currently. And then they wanting to win the leg. They would actually need a lot of quality players on the bench who would be able to come in when they are facing challenges on the field. Thomas Pate is actually an injury prone player who would come on today, play all out, and then the next time Thomas Pate will be injured. They just have about six months to finish the season with about eight to ten points on top with one outstanding match as well. So me personally, I think it's a hit for them. You know something? That's not actually wanted to go in for Caicedo. Yeah, see, Moise Caicedo. The, the, the price I'm uh, writing is mentioning it. I think that it, was the it, reason it. why they went for. I think George, yes. Some, somehow, George, you know. Because, okay, fine. But do you actually think it's a hit or a miss for them? Okay. To me, it's a miss and a hit. Okay, so okay. let me start with the hits. You see, George, you know, is kind of a player who can actually retain possession, control the midfield with no hesitation. Okay. But at the point where it's going to be a miss for them is that when they are Counter attacking, okay. Mm -hmm. You need a midfielder who can actually push the ball, and Georgino is really slow on the ball, so that is why I think it will be a mess for us now. But for us now to retain possession and then keep the ball in the midfield, at, 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 especially at the point where maybe they are ahead and then they want to keep the ball, I think um, Georgino is the a, a perfect person for that job, okay. Yes, okay, that's what Charles is saying. What about yeah. me? Oh, for me personally, um, I think. It's, it's, it's a good hit for them. It's a good you hit. Know, yeah, it's been Me personally, I also think it's, yeah. it's a very so good hit for them. I'm, I'm rooting for Arsenal to yeah. actually win there. Okay, it's so for, um, for, for the match tomorrow, what's, what's your prediction on Arsenal and Everton? Okay, yeah. so Arsenal and Everton, I, I also heard um, Pate is injured, right? So yeah, I'm that's sure right. Georgino will come in for him. Okay. Okay, so I'm rooting Arsenal 2-0. Okay. What about you, Everton? I don't see Everton scoring a goal. Okay. Yeah. So me personally, I, I, I think um, Everton with a new coach, at least maybe they would go in for a draw. Sean Dyke has been in the league for a very long time. He was sacked from Burnley just about some time ago. He's coming back. He would want to prove something. So me personally, I think maybe he might take a point from us now. That's what I, I, I think. Understand, but then, I understand. Let's, but let's watch about out and quality see. Here. Yeah. We are talking yeah. about individual brilliance, brilliance. and then quality. Yeah, about you can't just compare football. Everton to no, us no, now. No, no, no. It's a, it's a no, no. Do you oh, understand? Okay. All right. Ah. So you 2-1. Yes. You think no, that's 2-0. Yes. You also think it's a straight win. I'm going for a point for Everton. Okay. All right. All right.